for many Americans, this is still a time of deep uncertainty. For example, I have, a, I have one friend, just a few weeks ago, she was making millions of dollars a year, and she's now living out of a van in Iowa. In Tom Cotton's defense, he was just trying to repair America's strained relationship with Israel. But you know what, he doesn't need to worry about that. Our relationship will be better in the next administration, just as soon as Israel makes a generous donation to the Clinton Foundation. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, a target last night at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Let's talk about that in this new book, Clinton Cash, on our roundtable, joined by Donna Brazil, our Democratic strategist, former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, and our team from Bloomberg Politics, Mark Halperin and John Hammond. Welcome to you all. Donna, i got to talk to you first. I know you're close to the Clinton team. They did not want to put anybody out to talk about uh, this book today, even though we asked. And you just saw Peter Schweitzer there. What do you make of his allegations uh, generally, but also this specific allegation he makes that there are undisclosed donations to the Clinton Foundation from foreign charities. Well, first of all, George, I haven't read the full book. I, I'm sure it's still being rewritten somewhere because uh, the news, the newspapers and other publications are already disputing some of the facts that he claims in his book. Look, there are more drippings in this book than juice or sauce. And what the, what the campaign needs to do, and they did it last week, is to just go ahead and respond to these allegations. They're scurrilous. We're going to see more of them as the campaign goes along. But respond to them and continue to reach out to voters and ignore all of this background noise. That's, that's what they need to do. Mr. Speaker, I read that you thought these, these allegations are starting to reach some kind of critical mass around the foundation that could even force her out of the race? Sure, look, this isn't a, a political problem. This is a historic problem. The Constitution of the United States says you cannot take money from foreign governments without explicit permission of the Congress. They wrote that in there because they knew the danger of corrupting our system by foreign money is enormous. You had a sitting Secretary of State whose husband radically increased his speech fees. You have a whole series of, of dots on the wall now where people gave millions of dollars. Oh, by the way, they happen to get taken care of by the State Department. Now, you raised a good standard. And, of course, having been on the Whitewater, on the uh, Watergate Committee, she knew exactly what to do. She eliminated 33,000 emails. Richard Nixon only erased 18 minutes. So you're going to have a prima facie case that any jury would look at. You think a jury would look at the case basically? I think a jury would look at the totality of this case and say it is clearly against the Constitution. It's clearly against U.S. law. I mean, DOD and, and HHS both have rules that say you can't take more than $315. It's a global uh, foundation, and they released all of their donors, something that many yeah, of the... Well, many not of the, all of them. Some of them well, they, they found it this In the aggregate, they, they didn't, but in the... They, but it Donna, was the funding. Donna, the funding they was released. They skipped three years. They just they, now the funding announced was, they skipped three years. It, look, they amended those documents. It has no legal requirement to do so, but they amended a it, and, and they are adding... A foundation controlled by your husband is the same as money to you. It is clear in no. federal law. No. This would... If it wasn't Hillary Clinton, this would clearly be The only be reason why we're having this conversation is because they are transparent. They have released a list of their donors, something that we don't get from Mark, any of the Republican super PACs or foundations. Mark Halpern, how serious is this? The Clinton Foundation does great work. Some of the charges against her are overstated. That's on one side of the ledger. On the other side of the ledger, it's extraordinarily serious. Imagine if an assistant secretary of state had done what Hillary Clinton, we know that she did, they'd be out of the State Department. They, which, which, which things? Co-mingling, uh, a, a family foundation, donations from foreign governments, increased speech fees, and government actions. We don't know about... Well, well no evidence of government well, action. Well, there were government actions taken. What we don't know, and this goes to the, the deleted emails, is what kind of communication did Hillary Clinton have on her private email <coughs> account regarding her husband's speeches and regarding the foundation activities that involve foreign donations? If they hadn't been so careless at the foundation, if she hadn't deleted the emails, and if they put somebody out on the show today to answer the questions, I think a lot of this could be put to rest, but none of those things are true. And that specific question that arises, which is, did are, are emails that you that were revolved around these issues, around your husband's foundation work, did those fall under the under the what you considered private emails, personal emails, and so therefore were flushed down uh, down the drain, or were they part of the public record? That is a question that has not been addressed, and she must answer that question, I think, because it goes to the core of whether but, there is at least the appearance of an obstruction of justice kind of uh, activity on her part in getting rid of that email server. 
No, this is just more trying to look under the curtain to see if there's any there there. Again, I mean, look, I, I think they've been very forthcoming in listing their donors and showing the aggregate amount. And uh, as Mark said, doing good work. But this is just more there there to do see they if need there's to some connection. More? Of course, George. I mean, I think responding to the allegations in the book, they put the information out and they'll put out more information. But the more you put out, the, the more you detract from the message and, and you give Republicans fodder. That's all they want to do. The Republicans okay, just want to talk about Hillary right. Clinton and Bill Clinton. They don't want to talk about the issues. I think there's a very simple case here. The Constitution says you can't take this stuff. We have federal laws that say you can't take this stuff. If this was any person but Hillary Clinton, they'd be under indictment right now for clearly straightforward problems. They but if took it were that money clear from cut, it wouldn't have been allowed in the first place. Right. But my point is... They took money from foreign governments while she was Secretary of State that is clearly illegal. This is not about politics. It's illegal. And it's dangerous to America to have foreign governments get in the habit of bribing people who happen to be the husband of the Secretary of State or the next president of the United States. Here's why you know this is serious, because any Democrat, almost any Democrat who's not on the Clinton's payroll will tell reporters and others privately that these are serious issues, not forget the politics. These are serious issues. The, the question for me right now is all these donors who gave and all the people who paid President Clinton to give speeches, what kind of communication did they have with people in the government? That may not be a quid pro quo, but everybody knows that a lot of those donations were for people who wanted access to the Clintons. Last word. Well, I think we now we all now I think also have examples now of where the, the, the administration, Barack Obama's administration, knew that this was a potential problem. That's why they set up the agreement that they had with the, with the family, with Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton, when he, she took the job as Secretary of State. There are now several that we know of at this moment, several documented instances where whether or not it's illegal, where they broke their agreement with the administration. And when you think about the president having set a standard of being the most transparent and open administration in history, and what the Clintons have done here clearly is not the most transparent and open. And I think they've, whether it's illegal or not, they violated the spirit of Barack Obama's presence.